In this video, I'm going to show you how to set your film's price per square feet so that they're automatically calculated for you when you go to quote the customer. So you can see we're in a project and the measurements have already been inputted. So the next step would be to go and create a proposal that you can send your customer, show them if you're there. Before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and set the price per square foot. So to do that, you're going to jump into the inventory area, click on the film types tab search for the film. So in this case, let's do expel dark neutral 15. And on the right, you'll see the price per square foot. Just click edit and let's set that price at 1075 a square foot and we'll hit save settings. You can see below that, that's the description that automatically populates when you pick that film. If you'd like to change that, this is where you can change it as well. So now let's go back into that project and show you what we did. If we click back into Kevin's project, let's come down to create a proposal. All we're going to need to do is find that film type. Let's go to expel dark neutral 15. And you'll see that that price per square foot that we entered in at 1075 has now automatically calculated the price at 101 square feet. So if you want to use that price, just hit use that price. And if you wanted to add a discount or anything like that, you can. And you know, I could add an 8% discount here and it'll actually increase the before price, or you can do it the other way and decrease the after price, however you wanna do your discounts. Below that, you see solution description. That's what I pointed out, which you can edit right here for the customer, or you can change it in the inventory area for the future. And here's where you can add pictures of the project and so on. We're gonna hit save solution. We're gonna send it to the customer. And by hitting send proposal, it just got sent to the customer via text message and email. And now every time you go to use this film, it will automatically have that price saved in there. And of course, you can always adjust it up or down on the proposal as needed. So you can always edit this. And if I wanted to change it to 1150 for this job, I absolutely can. Nothing stopping you from changing the price. It's just a way that you can set your prices and not have to look them up, have them automatically calculated, and it works most of the time unless you have something about the job that's going to cause you to raise the price or lower the price. Simple as that. See you on the next video.